schools have been known to name and shame kids whose parents have struggled to pay school fees. This often leads to pupils being teased by their peers. Tulani Masinda's two kids attend York Road Primary in Lansdowne, where he pays 13,000 rand annually. But over the past six months, he has struggled to make ends meet. I wasn't able to pay. Some letters I was not even responding. But there were times that they, they sent us that, that if we don't pay, they will hand over to um, to the collectors. So we might be blacklisted. Masinda admits where he was wrong, but some schools' methods seem questionable. Good Hope Seminary recently prevented some pupils from attending the metric dance due to outstanding fees. While a school in Lotus River allowed only 109 of nearly 700 learners to attend the prom. One to three schools. So is this legal? In terms of the non-payment of school fees, now that is a function that lies with the SGB. It's not a curriculum related function. Um, metric boards are a right, not a privilege. As a department, we obviously wouldn't like any learner to, to, to not be involved in, in an activity. The Western Cape government has advised struggling households to select cheaper schools to avoid financial constraints. Ronald Masinda, Cape Town.